Welcome to Antenna by Panda. Today I will be restoring an F22A diamond antenna. This type of antenna are inductor loaded on both the upper and the lower elements. So this is the upper part. This is the inductor coil. And this is the inductor coil at the antenna base. The usual problem of this antenna once it stops working is the breaking down of the capacitor <coughs> that was used to tune the antenna. This type of antenna only requires a small capacitance to make it resonate on the desired uh, frequency. The original design frequency of this antenna is from 144 to 148 MHz. It can be used from 140 to 150. So let's check the actual BSWR of this broken antenna. So we have 3.2 is to 1 BSWR and the BSWR carb is actually over our selected range of 137.5 to 150. What I will be doing is to replace the capacitor with a piece of uh, coaxial cable. This is an RG174 uh, coaxial cable so I already measured the capacitance that I need to tune this antenna to the original specifications I, the length of this coaxial cable is about 15 centimeter so what I will be doing after I connect the coaxial cable to the base of the antenna is to confirm the read out between the two antenna analyzers one is the N121SA and the other one is the nano DNA what I will do next is to connect the piece of coaxial cable that will replace our capacitor this time I have now connected the antenna to the N1 21 SA antenna analyzer. Let's check the frequency response. The capacitor is now connected. Replacement capacitor actually, the coaxial cable. So this is connected to the N121 SA via the RG8 coaxial cable so let's check the frequency response from the center frequency 145 MHz going to 140 so from 140 it's 1.3 or 1.4 1.4 1 is 1.4 1.42 is 1.366 or 1.4 still 1.43 is 1.27 or 1.3 1.44 is 1.16 or 1.2 1.45 is 1.033 1.46 is 1.097 or 1.1 145 is 1.03 146 is 1.1 147 is 1.2 148 is 1.3 149 is 1.4 and 150 is 1.4 The impedance on 150 is 40 ohms going to 140 
647 ohms and at the center frequency 145 is 49.21 ohms reactance is almost zero uh, one or 0.9 impedance is 49 ohms so let's check the frequency card as we can see we have 140 to 150 center is 145.1 so let's move that to 145 exactly So 145 is 1.01 or 1.03. Uh, VSWR. So let's check the S11 R. Impedance is 50.5 ohms. Reactance is zero and S11 is 48.10 uh, dB at 145. Let's compare this with N121SA. So I will need to connect the. I'm oh, sorry. Let's compare that the reading of the N121SA to the Nano VNA. So I, I will be connecting the Nano VNA to this uh, antenna. I have now connected the same antenna to the Nano VNA so let's check the frequency response of this antenna as we can see from 140 the bottom of the Nano VNA frequency sweep we have 140 the upper band is 140. The center frequency is 145. Our SWR uh, 145 megahertz is actually 1.01 or almost 1 is to 1 SWR with an impedance of 50 ohms or 49.9 ohms. Now let's check the S11 or return loss. So from 145 megahertz we have 40 dB return loss at impedance of 50 ohms. So this is almost similar to the frequency response of the N121 SA as we have initial check before the nano VNA readout. Sorry for the background noise as I am actually very near the road, the main road. So that's it. This F22 antenna is actually fully restored and it can now be used. Thank you for watching. So to reconfirm, I put the antenna on the fiberglass enclosure and connect the bottom of the antenna to the feed line going to the nano VNA. Just con to just confirm the readout, we have frequency sweep is 140 to 150. Our SWR now is 1.19 is to 1. At uh, impedance of 49 or 50 ohms. So... Our SWR have increased a bit but it's very minimal so this antenna is now fully usable.